Well, we got a little uh, choke cherry tree right over there in the tree line next to that pile of dead trees. Uh, I'm going to try one of the rooter pots on it this afternoon. I was uh, got out here a little bit ago and worked on this tree. Um, there's the uh, part with the bark strip back to the cambium showing. See how it's kind of green? Um, that still lets nutrients get to that end of the branch. Um, anyway, hang on a second and I'll show you what else we got. Okay, I just got these in today. This is the rooter pot. It's kind of half and half thing. It's got black labels on it to protect the roots that will eventually form on the side of the branch so that we can cut it free from the tree. This is the lid. It's uh, slit in the middle, tabbed to go in the top of the rooter pot. Got a little bottle of water to get it started. And then I went ahead and bought these things. I don't think they're necessary. They're kind of a spongy, soily kind of thing. They smell like soil. They're, they feel like a sponge. I suspect they'll be able to use them over and over. Um, now then, we just got to uh, take this up, wrap it around the branch where I've cleared off that piece of cambium, or down to the bark, down to the cambium, and then put this thing on, clip it together, put the lid on, snap it in place, give it a little bit of water, and then uh, come back and check it every now and then to make sure there's still good moisture content, and we should start seeing some roots. Um, yeah, I bought two sets of these, or four in each set, and uh, hope to propagate lots of okay, trees with there them. there it is with the uh, soil sponge thing on it. There it is with the rooter pot installed. There it is with the uh, with a little bit of water added. I don't know how well those are going to work as far as holding water, but that sponge thing is uh, sure enough got enough to uh, hold it over for a few days, so we'll see. There it is, all installed with the lid on. Now I'm going to use a piece of string, and I'm going to tie a piece of string from this limb over to the main trunk just to hold it more vertical so that the water will stay in it a little bit better. And then uh, we'll come back with some updates and let you see how this is working. There it is, all finished up and ready to go. Choke cherry tree rooter pot experiment number one. Later.